Hello guys, Michaela here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another speed build. Today we are building a family modern home in the world of Newcrest. Now I know this is not Newcrest. I started to build in Vinoton Bay, but later on I decided to move it to a 30 by 30 in Newcrest. Uh, so I built it on, as I said, 30 by 30 in uh, Newcrest. It comes in at 136,650 uh, simulators, which is quite expensive. But I built this for my beloved friend that I study uh, at university with, who I got into uh, The Sims uh, recently. And she uh, bought a couple of packs and she was looking for a house. But obviously, uh, because we have so many packs, a lot of the really nice houses are with a lot of packs. So she asked me if I could build her a house with only the packs that she has, which is um, cats and dogs as an expansion pack. And she has two game packs, which is Dream Home Decorator and Jungle Adventure. And she has two kits, which is the Blooming Rooms kit and the Industrial Loft uh, kit. So that's everything that this house has. So it's not like my uh, usual limited uh, pack build. It's usually three packs, but I have what five packs. And I'm really, I really have fun. I mean, she has the good packs, like uh, Dream Home Decorator, for example, because that's uh, my all-time obsession, and I absolutely love the pack. I use it all the time, so I was really happy when she said that she has that pack. Um, and yeah, I worked off of a inspirational picture, but I changed uh, it quite a bit, which as I now realized, is not in the speed build, uh, the, the version that I ended up going with, because um, I didn't like this like uh, flat roof, uh, because I just couldn't make it work, look, couldn't make it work so it would look good. So I later on made it into more like a Scandi style home, so it has uh, a normal roof. But it's not in a speed build because I forgot to record it. I built that in, a, in the evening when I was sitting at the couch downstairs. And I totally forgot to um, record it. So it's not in the speed build. You will see it in the screenshots at the end. Because it's just not there, unfortunately. I'm really sorry about that. I completely didn't realize that I should have recorded it. Um, and uh, yeah. It's a quite uh, spacious um, home. It's for four sims, but there is one room upstairs which is a game room because uh, my friend wanted the house for two parents and two kids. Uh, but uh, you can turn that room upstairs into a toddler bedroom or maybe even a, like a teenager bedroom. So there is one extra room which is a playroom that you can turn into another uh, bedroom for. A kid, for example. There's also space for uh, a dog, not a cat. I didn't put a litter box or um, toys for cats, but you can place a litter box somewhere if you want, if you prefer cats. And yeah, so we are working on the floor plan. I skipped through a lot of the things uh, as I was doing the show because uh, it took me a while to figure it out. And I played with it a lot, kind of making things smaller, bigger. Um, so I really uh, apologize for that, but uh, yeah, I really like the way it turns out, especially the platform uh, used in the downstairs area. I really, really like that. Um, you can see the floor plan here, but it's, uh, the floor plan upstairs is going to change a little bit because I initially wanted to make separate bedrooms for each of the kits, but I later on decided that I will make one big bedroom for both of them which is uh, in like the bump out on the right. And yeah, so now we are working on uh, the landscaping, which is uh, pretty simple. I did like a sectioned off kind of uh, fenced uh, area at the back, uh, which is where uh, uh, the pool is, uh, there are monkey bars, there are some uh, planters and there is also some barbecue and some outdoor seating and the rest of the lot is just like landscaping and, and uh, empty space because I don't know, I've been liking doing that with lots just using a couple of uh, just using a part of the whole lot and then 
leaving the rest as like the nature, as the nature around it. So I, uh, yeah, I added a lot of uh, rocks, a lot of landscaping, which is pretty similar to what you can see around the house on in the world. Which, as I said uh, in my previous peoples, I like to do that, so the build kind of really fits into the world. Obviously, if you place it somewhere else, that might be problematic because the landscaping will be different. But I mean, if you don't really care, it's just yeah, it's not that big of a deal. It's just for me as a builder, I like things aesthetically uh, pleasing and looking good. So that's why I want uh, the lot to fit in with the surroundings. Now we are working on the like backyard, back porch area. I sized up this decoration from the Blooming Room Skid and I thought it looked perfect. I've never, I haven't used it yet because it's very big and I didn't really have use for it anywhere. But I really, really like the way uh, it looks here. Kind of sections off things and kind of fills in the space and it's, it's perfect. Um, I placed the table here and now we are just uh, cluttering up the console table in the outdoor uh, seating. I'm adding some uh, sun, ba sun bathing chairs. Is that how they're called? I think they're, that's how they're called. And I also added monkey bars and some landscaping here as well off camera. And we're moving to the exterior, which is by far my favorite part of this house. I like the exterior shape. It's really quirky and different, but I love this living room. Um, as I talked about in my last uh, speed build, I figured out the way to make my screenshots look really, really good, which is uh, turning my like resolution and all of my uh, settings, uh, like graphic settings, to like a higher, uh, higher setting, I guess. <laughs> um, so the screenshots look really, really good, and I can, uh, I'm able to turn the light. Uh, lighting to very high which means you have like these really nice lights from the inside uh, from the outside sorry and it looks so good and i am so obsessed with this with the screenshot of this particular living room i really love the color scheme because you have like a very soft like beige white color scheme but you have uh, but then you have the warm woods and especially with this table from jungle adventure it looks really really cool and i just i just love it I've, I've been having a little bit of a crisis about my builds and if they're good, if I like them, if they are good. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I'm having these crisis crisis very often lately about pretty much everything I do in my life. So I'm, I'm sorry if I ever kind of panic somewhere on social media or something like that. But um, yeah. I really love how the, the, the point was, I wanted to say that I really like this build and I've been liking my past, uh, past uh, build. Yeah. So we are creating like a reading nook here. I initially wanted to put this uh, base game uh, industrial um, bookcase, but then later on I decided to swap it with the furniture from Dream Home Decorator because I felt like it fit better. I didn't really like the way this one looked. I am making sort of like an entrance uh, closet area, uh, adding a mirror here and some paintings as well. And then I'm going to be cluttering up the unit as well. So yeah, I, thought I, I was imagining that the family that's living here, maybe one of the parents could be, um, could be a designer because I put a, a couple of designing stuff here and there. They also have a desk at uh, in their bedroom, so maybe one of them is a designer and the other one, I, I don't know, I haven't decided what the other one is going to do. I didn't, I put, uh, there is a gym equipment, there is uh, an easel uh, in like one of the rooms behind uh, the bedroom, which is like a everything room you have uh, bookcases you have um the treadmill and then uh, the easel and maybe maybe an artist or an athlete god knows <laughs> you can do whatever you want if you decide to download this build which you can do either on my gallery my id is michaela sims yt or you can grab it in the description box below as tray files and they're available on my Kofi 
page where there is a link to my Kofi where you can find uh, all of the tray files for my builds. I have started posting them there a couple of uh, months ago so you can uh, download like the past I don't know 12 builds probably. So now we're working in the kitchen. I initially uh, placed a lot of the cabinets, cabinets, not counters. I, I'm sorry, my English is not working today. Uh, I initially placed the cabinets um, here, but I later on, again off camera, decided I don't like the way it looks. So I deleted all of them and I only put some open shelving, which I will place now. And I just left uh, that there. And I made it a little bit bigger as well. I did a lot of things off camera. And I'm sorry about that because I was just, I don't know. I, I mentioned that in my last video uh, because I've, I've been doing a lot of quite big builds lately. And this is one of them. And I just, yeah, I'm not, I don't have the patience to build big things. So I might go back to like fairly smaller builds. I definitely want to do more uh, tiny homes uh, because I love those and I haven't done one in a very very long time so I'm going to come back to, to those for sure and I will also come back to like m m mid uh, size uh, houses because this is huge and I, I, I mean I made this myself I kind of started this uh, by myself but uh, yeah I'm not a fan of big builds so I think the build that we have for next week. Ooh. Oh, I know. That's a I built a rental, which is super cool. And I'm really excited to show it to you because it looks good. And I'm really excited. Um, yeah, but it's a secret because it's a secret project. But yeah, you know, it's the Valentine's Day in a couple of days. And you know, I've been loving making projects, so I think you can kind of make an idea of uh, what I'm talking about. But psh, that's that's everything I'm going to tell. I mean, oh wait, you already know because we posted or we are posting the sneak peek of the collaboration on the eighth, and this is coming out on the eleventh. So you already know. So you already know that we have a Valentine's Day collab and I built a rental for it in Mount Comrebi and I'm really excited because I really love it. It looks so cozy and it's very, very luxurious and I would love to stay there to be honest. You know, you could um, use all of the luxury amenities throughout um, like the afternoon and evening and go skiing on the slopes. Um, like during the day, it, it's like a perfect vacation for me. I would love to go there right now instead of uh, going to school. Because I'm going back to school on Monday and I'm not happy about it at all. Uh, my last semester of bachelor. It's weird to say that because it feels like yesterday when I started. And I'm going to be finished in a couple of months. Oh God, it's... A lot. <laughs> um, we've moved on to the master bedroom. I've been loving using the um, what decoration from Dream Home decorator as a headboard for the bed. So I did it here as well because I've been doing it all the time in a lot of builds. Uh, I also placed again um, the not wardrobe. What is it called? Dresser. That's how it's called. Uh, a dresser here as well. I, and I also made like a custom little bit of a table. I initially had the bedroom this size, but I uh, made it one smaller because I didn't really know what to fill the room with. So I made it one tile less wide. I'm, what's the opposite of wide? I, I can't tell. If something is wide, oh, thin, thinner. Is that good? I, I guess it's good. I can't think of anything else, so I, it, ha it will have to. <laughs> um, I also placed a rug here. I've been loving this rug from Cats and Dogs lately. It has some really cool swatches and I discovered it just recently and it's so cool. I love it. I, I don't think I ended up using it here, but 
I really like the swatches. And I've been also obsessed with using this pad because last week, if you saw last week's speed build, which was the transparent rental, I used this exact pad as well. So yeah, I, as you can tell, I still love the Dream Home Decorator pack and I don't think I'm going to be over it soon. Um, so I am kind of talking from the past here. We just got the um, sneak peek at the new kit which is a carnival sort of casket which i'm not really happy about but i mean yeah i kind of i mean i would rather obviously as like a selfish thought i would love to get another belt kit or you know even better it would be like a bigger pack so like a stuff pack or a game pack or even an expansion pack would be the best obviously but we've got a lot of cast and build kits and there's only one gameplay kit. So where is the gameplay kits? They said that they're going to do each of them individually. Sorry. Each of them like equally. And then we just have one uh, gameplay kit. And then I, have, I don't even know how many uh, caskets and uh, build kits. I mean, I've been loving the build kits because the uh, Blooming Room skit is awesome. The industrial loft kit is amazing. I love those two a lot and I use them all the freaking time. But yeah, it's not fair that gameplay players, who I think is like the majority, don't get as good stuff as like builders and cast creators, which is a shame because, you know, the gameplay is not exactly great. That's why I, I almost never play it. <sighs> anyway. Hopefully by the time I am, by the time this speed build comes out, the game uh, game pack is going to be announced, which should be something around like romance and weddings. So I assume it might be kind of teased at Valentine's Day or before Valentine's Day. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, if it's already been teased, I'm talking nonsense here. Sorry about that. But uh, I'm pre-recording and I don't know if there has been uh, anything now so yeah we have to wait and be surprised I guess uh, now we're working on the bigger bathroom so there is this big bathroom where uh, you can uh, have a shower and a bath and then there's a smaller uh, bathroom upstairs with just a shower I believe which is which I did off camera because who needs to see two but the bathrooms are pretty much similar <laughs> and i think we're going to move on to the upstairs because we are down with the downstairs i really love the, how the bathroom here turns out by the way it turned out by the way because i i don't know the color scheme is really cute and i love it so this is the bedroom for the kids i again initially wanted to use the rock from cats and dogs but i end up i ended up not using it after all <laughs> um because it just was a, too much pattern for me. I made this custom like a uh, study bookcase sort of thing and uh, I really love how it turned out. It's like really um, unique. I've done uh, something similar like two weeks ago in my big farmhouse build where I also put together two tables um, as a study space in the middle of the room, not like shoved against the wall, which I think is really cool. I feel like it's a little bit different and your sims, or your kids sims can make their homework here, which is cool. I've been saying the world cool way too much, I think. Whatever. Um, I also placed these two um, wardrobes from one of the base game updates we got with the content from, uh, con uh, from uh, CC creators. Um, and I really like them. I was kind of not sure what color scheme I wanted to go for but I decided to go for like a green and a yellow color scheme in this uh, bedroom. I also used a tool to size up the curtain so they would be all the way down to the floor and I just added a couple of uh, uh, toys. I also added like a drawing station here, a mirror and a, and a backpack I believe. And I think we are going to move on to the playroom, which is the last room in the house. Um, I I would have normally made it into a toddler bedroom, 
but because my friend only wanted a place for two kids, I decided to make it into a playroom. So there is the uh, tent, that's how it's called, the tent from Dream Home Decorator, I believe. Yeah, Dream Home Decorator. And uh, there is uh, there are two bookcases, there is a seat, and there is a toy box, I believe. So you can they can go there, maybe read a book, uh, if they want to hide from their sibling. Maybe if they have like friends over, they can play there instead of their bedrooms. I don't know. As I said, I would normally turn it into a toddler bedroom, but that was unnecessary here. So I turned it into a playroom, which is kind of fun. Not something I do very often. But yeah, as so pretty much everything from today's speed build. Um, if you want to download this build, as I already mentioned earlier, you can download it on the gallery. My ID is Michaela Sims YT, or you can get the tray files in the description um, box below, which is a link to my Kofi page where you can find uh, the tray files. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed working on this. And if you did, please consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. It really means a lot to me. And yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.